It is, I'm afraid I can't resist it, a whopper of a story. Everybody's talking about Burger King. Burger King, the big American hamburger chain, buying the Canadian chain, Tim Hortons, for $11 billion. And the reason everyone's talking about it, it's not out of a sudden love for Tim Hortons donuts. It's because Burger King is doing this in part, in large measure. I believe, basically, this is the reason to avoid American taxes. The company is going to relocate its headquarters to Canada, pay a much lower corporate tax rate, and suddenly there's a great debate going on about why is this allowed. And my question is this, where have the media been? This is not the first company to do this. There have been something like 70 companies that have used this basically accounting gimmick to reincorporate overseas or in some other country and avoid or minimize or reduce paying American taxes, which means everybody else in America has to pay more taxes. So what is it? Is it just too boring? It has a really boring name, inversions. Um, I just think that this is a story that's been out there, but it's been on the inside business pages. I don't understand why journalists who love a good outrage or ordinarily haven't been all over this, have, why there hasn't been kind of a media drumbeat about why this should be allowed. Now, some of this gets wrapped up in partisan politics. Republicans don't like what Burger King is doing. Democrats don't like what Burger King and these other companies are doing. But they, of course, have very different prescriptions for how to deal with it. The Democrats want to close this loophole so that American companies can't uh, engage in this. You know, it's basically an accounting fiction. Republicans say American corporate taxes are too high, should be lowered so the U.S. is more competitive with other countries. Both have a point. In fact, President Obama has proposed lowering corporate taxes in the U.S. somewhat. The bottom line here is that nothing is going to get done. That means there isn't really much partisan warfare. The bill is going to go nowhere, a bill to, to change companies' ability to do this. And maybe that holds less interest for a journalist. But what about journalists standing up on behalf of the American people? I mean, yes, we have to be fair and tell both sides. And Burger King claims it's still going to pay taxes on the U.S. profits that it makes, although a lot of experts have looked at this say it'll be much less. But why is there so much focus on all of the petty sniping that goes on in politics? And, you know, I write about that, too. And not on this thing that just seems like a slap in the face. Why is this not a bigger story? And the, and the, the last question I would ask, and then I'm going to go have some French fries, is, is this, going to, is this outrage going to last? Is, it, is Burger King's story going to continue to be in the news? Or two, three days, four days, it goes away. Everybody goes back to um, worrying about Labor Day. I think the media ought to stay on this. I think the American people are ticked off.